Hello, welcome everyone. This is iPad Only Show with your iPad Only book co-authors. My name is Michael Slewinski. And I'm Auguste Tupinan. How are you today, Michael? Good, good. I heard that you, you know, that you have made your decision about iPad. Should I go with the mini? Should I go with the biggie? Well, I mean, you know, what to do? I did, actually. I did. And the curious thing is how I made the decision. Okay. And, and was the reason I wanted to to... to to record the show today. As you know, I've been playing with my wife iPad Air and my old iPad mini who is cracked. I'm thinking about, well, should I get the Air? Should I get the mini? And I really could not make the decision. I, I could see the benefits on both. And, and it was a hard thing. So I decided to open our iPad only book. And I went to the chapter where you and I discuss the both iPads and where you and I discuss the big iPad versus the iPad mini. Yep. And as soon as I read that chapter, there was no more discussion. So in the future, the, someday we'll get, pretty soon, we'll get an iPad mini with Retina display. Because okay. as we agreed in the book, that there are certain things on which the big iPad win. That is, for example, how much easier is type on the screen and how much easier in certain way the, the real estate is in the big iPad versus the iPad mini. Portability for me and weight is still is a big thing and continue being the most important thing. Come and on, man. This is, this is really light. It's really <laughs> light and it's really... It's thin, not, lighter, right? not lighter as this one. Trust me. I tried, I tried reading... I tried reading in bed at night, and it is not as comfortable to read for for longer in the big iPad or the iPad Air that is in this one. And it was quite interesting because not only that, I remember when I thought about the the real estate, okay, for for a little bit, and and I remember when the iPad Air arrived home how big that screen feel compared to the iPad 2 we had at home at that time. That The change between non-retina and retina display make the screen seem bigger. And then as I was considering real estate, I say, well, if that is true, that effect is true when you go to the retina display iPad mini, then real estate is not even an issue. I can type pretty fast in my iPad mini, again, faster than what most people consider possible. And well, there is no more discussion. It's probably going to happen this weekend or by the time this show is published, most likely that will have happened already. But um, this cracked screen is going to be replaced by an iPad mini with Retina display. And which version are you going to purchase? You know, most likely I will get again the 32 gigs. Mm -hmm. uh, I I hit right now. This one had around 30 gigabytes full, so I have around two gigabytes free of space. But I also know that there is a big probability that in October, when the new iPads come, I decide to go for the third generation of iPad Mini. So I decide instead of go for the 64, go for 32 to replace my cracked screen and wait for October and see what the A8 and probably M8 bring to the new iPad and then upgrade again. And in that moment, probably for the 64. Okay. Okay. Living in the cloud, I don't have that much in the iPad. I mean, yeah, I have 30, but but I can really clean a lot of that stuff that is there. I, I check, and most of them is pictures and books and videos more than really documents. No, what I what I what I found out is over uh, my last trip that um, I used my iPad as a storage space. So, for example, when I was uh, when I was on my trip with my wife, I used the iPhone to take pictures and record videos. So, my, and my but also my iPhone has my full you know music library and audiobooks and lots of stuff. So and podcasts and you know all these things. So my 64 iPhone was already getting you know small. So what I would do is every night uh, or every other night I would just with a PhotoSync app, which very nice, transfer via wirelessly uh, from iPhone to iPad the videos. So I would I would then compile the video actually on the iMovie on the iPad because it's actually nicer to do it on the iMovie although I'm used to it right. on the iPhone as well. But 
it, this was a, a good way to just remove the videos from the keep removing the videos from the iPhone uh, and and having the space there and because I have a 64 I, iPad and which which is basically you know more or less empty because I don't have music there too much music there only just a, a few things so I, I really have a lot of space there so I could use the space of the iPad to store the videos to make sure that you know I get the I get the storage benefits. So, um, and as far as the iPad mini and the iPad Air thing, uh, your argument and everything, I would, I could say to be, you know, a nice friend and everything that I understand your point of view, which I, but I totally, totally don't. Because I, 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 you I, never understood it. It was I, your fault. I, no, I, I really, so I wrote in the book, it is your fault that I use an iPad mini. Yeah, I know. But on the other hand, uh, I prefer the, the, the bigger screen. I just like the bigger screen because, I don't know, I feel like, I have the, the screen estate. I feel I don't have to, you know, like look like the, like, like this at the screen. I feel I, I feel it's the right size for me. But you know, this is the thing. One person likes, you know, the fish. The other person likes the the, the aquarium. And then there's the third person who likes the fish in the aquarium. So you know, uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever you like. If you like the mini yeah. one, I think it's a good iPad. Uh, my wife has one and she loves it. So. Yeah, I I think I think that will that will be the iPad, and who knows? They may convince me to go the big iPad. I may I may be convinced to butt into that rumor of a twelve inch iPad for a cover. Who knows? Uh, yeah, the iPad only the iPad Pro, right? The iPad Pro. Yeah, there is a rumor, and I understand there is a rumor, but you never know. Yeah, we just discussed this, you know, in the last episode about the iPad for work and all this stuff. So now you, now you can see, you know, you have the iPad, you, you will have the iPad mini. I mean, you have the iPad mini, but you will have the iPad mini with retina display for your work as your main machine. I have my iPad Air for my uh, really serious work. So, um, so the thing is, the thing is that, um, uh, you know, we, we don't have to question this fact if the, because people think if they, as if they launch iPad Pro, the iPad Pro may have more desktop features, but actually people don't want the desktop features. Actually, if, I mean, this wouldn't make, I mean, that's why, that's why, for example, I don't buy their argument that if somebody has a Surface, you know, a, a Surface, win, a Windows Surface, whatever, you know, tablet, that, that, that they're getting more stuff done. Maybe they're getting more stuff done using the Office, which actually that Office right now looks better on the iPad than on the, surface but you know that's, that's another, another story that's a different discussion right exactly because because they, they haven't introduced a, 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 a tap a, i mean a tap friendly office to the surface but they have for the ipad which is totally crazy for me but what, what i what i want to say is that um there are so many more apps that are focused on getting some serious stuff done on the ipad than on the surface I really don't buy the the argument that you know you have the desktop and you can you know use the 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 the, the, the because if you use, if you still use the the, the, the the file system, if you still use, you need the file system, then actually you're not switching to the tablet anymore uh, yet. You are still a computer kind of guy who hasn't changed his workflows. And what we say in the book, in iPad only book, is that you have to change your workflows. You have to change the way you think about work to be able to work iPad only. But 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 thanks to that you will t get rid of lots of friction and lots of administration and lots of things and you just focus on your work and you can even then, you know, type X crazy on the, on the iPad mini as Augusto does. I don't know if it's crazy, but yes, it's <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So the thing is that, you know, um, I don't buy this argument and I think really, so I'm, I'm happy that you made your decision. I'm happy that you're not you will not be looking at the cracked screen every day because this is kind of depressing. Um, <laughs> right? It is, it is. Yeah. You see, that's what happened when you have business and stuff, and then every every other thing happened to be a priority except fix your iPad. That is a machine you use every day. So guilty of charge. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Just like you know, yesterday I had to clean up my home office because it, it was a total mess. But I, I decided, you know, to procrastinate and not work, but to clean up my home office and to later do the work. It's the best way to procrastinate procrastination. You clean up stuff. So then, then you feel better because you have cleaned up stuff and you have clean office, but then you don't, you're running, running out of time to actually do the work. But anyway, so, um, so I did clean up the home office because I couldn't look at some of the mess that I had. But, for, but, but thanks to that, today and, uh, and hopefully tomorrow, I, but, but today I feel I'm, I'm a lot more productive because I, I just didn't have to look at the office anymore because everything was in its place and I could just focus on getting some stuff done. Yeah, if, I agree. If you're going to procrastinate, at least procrastinate on something useful. Exactly, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Exactly. That's what I did. So, but in the meantime, I was actually listening to audiobooks and stuff. So actually, it, you know, it was a, it was, a, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that. Yeah, bad. that's procrastination, regardless. Don't justify I know, it. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was trying to, you know, to sweeten the stuff. Anyway, um, so that 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 it that it is. Uh, so you have you have two guys using completely different iPads for iPad only work, and we are really productive, and we are getting really serious stuff done on our iPads and if you want to work like I mean if you want to change your workflows if you want to get stuff done with your iPad with your iPhone um, check out our book iPadonlybook.com and you know this was Michael Slewinski and I'm Augusto Pinot thank you very much till next one thank you and and if you still don't agree with us or with the iPad mini or iPad you know air or you have some thoughts on the iPad pro stuff Comments below, please, and I will we'll be happy to discuss this with you. We will. Thank you.